Okay, so the first thing you're going to understand is what a component is. And it's basically a building block that will allow you to reuse it several times across your designs. Um, when you have components, you will have the main component, which is the original version of it, in which you define the properties of them. Uh, they can be the colors, the width, the strokes, uh, sizes, anything you can think of, you will define in the main component as its properties and this usually lives inside your design system file and then when you clone these components or create copies of it those are called instances uh, these ones are the ones that you use across all your screens so as i said earlier the the main or the original version will probably live inside your design system and the instances are the copies of that main component which live on your designs on the other screens and your other files so these instances will be connected to your main component and any change you make on that main component will apply to your instances finally we have variants which let you group or organize similar components inside one container this makes uh, handling your design system easier since you're gonna have similar elements grouped inside a single group to give you an example of this uh, you can create different variants for a single button so each variant is a different state for example the default the active or the disabled states but you have all those grouped inside the bottom component Creating a component is really simple, you just have to select the element you want to turn into a component and tap Ctrl, Alt, K or simply select the element, go to the top center menu and click on this icon which represents component and it will be created. Let's rename that component button and if you go to your assets panel you're gonna see you're gonna have that component available from there. So you can either grab that from your assets panel in this case my component is living inside this file but usually uh, it's as i said living on a design system file you can go there copy and simply paste it and this will create an instance of your components you will notice if i make any change to my main component like changing its fill color it will replicate across all instances of my component there's very important things you will need to understand when working with components and I will show you with an example. So I have this form field element um, which I'm gonna turn into a component right now. Keep in mind this is my original component, I'm gonna create a copy of it down here. To create copies you just have to, you can either copy paste or you can hold shift and alt and you can drag that and create a copy. So keep in mind that when you have an instance of a component it's gonna allow you to remove elements but it will not allow you to add elements to the instance so let me show you for example if i don't want the error message in this instance or in this copy of my form field component i can delete that but if i go to my layers panel and i find that element you're gonna see it's not really deleted but what it does when it's an instance and you delete an element from it is it hides it so at any moment i can bring it back and the same with every part of this field component. I can hide any part of it, so I can hide individual pieces, so it doesn't really delete them, it just hides them. So in this example I'm gonna try to do the opposite, I'm gonna make this into a component, I'm gonna create a copy of it, so I'm gonna try to add this error message to this, is, to this instance of my field component, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna paste it and you will notice it does not allow me to add it to this element it just pasted it on top of this but it is not connected to this in any way so you will be able to hide any part of your main component in an instance but you will never be able to add something to it so this is why i work with something called super components it's just a way of calling it but it means when you're gonna create a complex component like this form field you have to create a version of it that contains every single possible element that you will want to use in a future or in an instance of it so for example this component is what i will call a super component because it contains uh, all the possible states of this form field so i'm gonna grab a copy of that drag it in here and create as many copies of this as i need so i'm gonna drag holding shift and alt and then tap ctrl and d 
which will duplicate my current selection and then I can make as much edits as I want as long as that means hiding something not adding it so in this one I'm gonna hide the error message in this one I'm gonna hide the require field and in this one I'm gonna hide uh, both of them including the form label but you're gonna notice they still are connected to my super component so if I give this a feel make it gray you see it does replicate across all my new instances okay now let's go to overriding properties I'm gonna bring an instance of my bottom element in here okay so this is an instance of my main bottom component and I'm free to make any changes to it I want so if I wanna change its field color I can do but you will notice that the bottom the original main bottom component that is in my assets panel does not change according to that once you make a change in a specific property for example in this case the field color you it will override the properties that it's that it's grabbing from the main component but the main component will remain unchanged because it's the original one if you want this instance to go back to its original form you can right click it and click reset all changes and you will notice it will grab all the original properties that it used to have so that's just an override but the but keep in mind the original component will remain unchanged on the other side if i grab another copy of this and make the same fill color change have the option to right click that go to the main component menu and if I click on push changes to the main component, in that case, the changes will actually affect the main component. So, so the asset panel does not display that change yet, but if I grab a copy of it, I drop it, you're gonna see it actually contains those changes. To explain you this, let me bring the original component. Keep in mind, this is my main component. This is the original one. I'm gonna create a copy of it. So again, if I make, if I make a change to this one, it's going to replicate across all instances so my final option when working with components it's detaching my instances so if i right click on this and detach instance you'll notice the bounding box is no longer purple but it's blue meaning this is no longer a component so if i make a change to this one all the changes will apply to all the instances but this is no longer an instance of this bottom because we detached this. Okay, and finally, one of the most useful properties of components is using variants. As I told you, variants are basically variations of a component which are contained in a single element. Uh, let me demonstrate so it's a bit easier to understand. So I have these three elements which none of them are components. And there's two ways in which you can create uh, variants. The first one will be having this button, clicking on my create component option. Then with that element selected, I can go into my properties panel, click on the plus, I click on variant, it will create a property and this bounding box. And then I can double click this. If I tap control D to duplicate, I'm gonna start creating copies of that element, but they're gonna be contained inside this variant frame. But let me show you the way I do it. The second way of doing it is simply create all the versions that you need or all the variants that you will be using without converting them yet into components then selecting all of the elements you want to group as variants and you're going to notice when you have multiple elements selected your create component button is going to display a drop down menu which you will click and click on create multiple components this is going to turn each one of those elements into an individual component and this panel will appear which will allow you to combine them as variants. Click on that, you're going to see they're going to be framed inside a single component frame, meaning they're a single component but you're going to have different versions of that component. You're also going to notice that this properties panel appears, so in this case the property I'm going to be editing is the state because I have a default state a disabled state and an active state so let me double click on that I'm gonna name that state and then I'm gonna go to each individual element so I'm gonna double click on this and I'm gonna give this a name I'm gonna name it default I'm gonna click on this one name it disabled I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this one and name it active now what I will be able to do is 
create a copy of this and you're gonna notice that I now have an editable property for these individual components which will be displayed inside of a drop down menu because I have three versions of it I'm gonna be able to switch between those when the elements that you're gonna create have a true false or on off nature it's called a boolean variant so I'm gonna make the same process in here I'm gonna select both of my elements create multiple components combine them as variants then I'm gonna double click in here name this on because then I want to answer yes or no or true or false so the name of the property will be on or is it on and I'm gonna go to this one which I'm gonna call false because it's not on and I'm gonna go to this one and call it true because it is on and I'm gonna drag an instance of this and you see the and you see my selector now is not a drop down menu but a toggle switch which I can turn on and off my next variant type is an instant swap I'm gonna show you by grabbing this icon this small icon collection I'm gonna do the same create multiple components combine them as variants and I'm gonna simply leave those as it is now I'm gonna copy one of those instances and I'm gonna include it inside of my button because I want a button with an icon right and now I'm gonna turn this button into a component I'm gonna directly select that icon and I'm gonna click in this icon which creates an instance swap property for that specific element you are gonna see if I click that it's gonna pop up this menu I'm gonna call it icon you're gonna notice because this icon is part this icon is a variant of a single component it's gonna allow me to select the icon I want to use inside this specific button and finally for the text property I'm gonna turn this button into a component then by holding control I'm gonna directly select the button text and I'm gonna navigate to the text panel find the create text property and click on that it's gonna allow me to create a text property for my bottom component so I'm gonna name that text and the value will be bottom because that, that, that's the text that is set on it I'm gonna create that property and you're gonna see if I create a copy of this button it's gonna allow me to easily change the text on it from here so I can so I can type anything I want in here and that's it okay guys so that was a short one but I really needed us to cover the basics of components so we can understand more complex concepts in the future and some of you asked me for this simple tutorial so yeah there it is so if you got value out of this please leave a like it really helps and if you want to stay up to date with the channel please subscribe and see you in the next one